Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Soham and today we're reacting to Motionless and White, Sign of Life. And I personally love Motionless and White. Uh, my favorite song is Masterpiece and it is its own namesake. It is a masterpiece. Uh, and I don't know about you guys, but on TikTok recently, I've been getting a lot of Motionless and White related TikToks. So some, somehow, some way, they're blowing up in popularity, probably because of all this new music they're releasing. And uh, I'm here to check it out and react uh, for you all. So if you do enjoy the reaction, hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into it. Ooh, this is epic already. Hmm. I like these things going on in the background. It feels very digital. Hmm. It's very cinematic as well. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. I like how. I like how digital everything is so far. This production is really amazing. Uh, I also love how you can always tell that, I think his name is Chris Motionless. Um, I love how you can always tell that it's his voice, you know? He's one of those singers. He has a very distinct voice. Also the hair. What's going on here? This is nuts. Oh, I like it. Oh my god, it's reminding me of uh, Panic. Do you know that song Panic? Uh, the name of the band is escaping me now. Let me quickly find it for us here. Uh, it's in my likes. Let's go. Uh, I also have to add that new Whitechapel song. From Ashes to New. It sounds like that song a little bit. Not that he's you know stealing or anything, but it just gives me those vibes. Anyways, let's get back into it. This is good so far. I like it a lot. Mm. Oof. What is going on? I'm <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, are you guys getting what I'm getting? I am getting Breaking Benjamin vibes from Motionless and White. That chorus right there felt like a Breaking Benjamin chorus sung by Chris Motionless. I'm having there's like so many like <laughs> I'm just drawing to so many different artists now with this song it's good I even collapse uh now let me look up who that song uh is by hold on one second <laughs> collapse collapsing dead by April also collapsing vibes so many things going on here so many things Yeah, yeah, from Ashes to New right here. This is a fun song. Oh. Oh. He just shreds his voice apart. Mm. You know, I also love how fun this song is. Like... Maybe it's just because of all the analogies that, that are coming to my mind that are just making me have a very different experience than you might be having right now. But I think it's a fun song. I think there's so many things going on. It's just upbeat. Like this would, this would bang on tour for sure, for sure.
chill. We're going chill. Never mind. <laughs> I got it wrong. Yup. I love it. <laughs> I love it when... I don't know how to describe that section, but usually there's like a dropout of the music and it's just this, it's just the vocals underlying and then there's just a huge hit with the drums. I love... I love songs that employ different techniques anyways, but I love that technique uh, in particular because, I don't know, it makes that final chorus just hit all that much harder. And maybe you can think of... Uh, Breaking Benjamin again, if you remember the Diary of Jane, when they do that second uh, like release into the chorus, because there's like an empty section where the drum hasn't hit yet, and he's going, and it's silent, and he's going, and he's going, and he hits, and then the chorus is that much bigger. I don't know. That effect does something for my like physiology. It's it's truly more remarkable. Really good, really good. I just have to hear that again. Hmm. Where's the knife? Ah. <laughs> so good. Ooh. The rap fade out. Very good. So many. Th oh my god. So many thoughts I have. I'm, uh,. <laughs> over the course of that reaction you guys may have been annoyed by all the references that came to my mind that were not this song but uh related so breaking benjamin dead by april uh from ashes to new i think i mentioned something else as well but maybe i didn't uh yeah i like that this song has so many moving parts that all feel like they found a home in this very digital landscape uh, this digital musical landscape. I wanted to add that extra uh, descriptor in there. I think Motionless and White has this very unique capacity to make their music sound very modern while still using a lot of the techniques of old. Uh, and that's why I'm able to draw so many analogies and similarities between them and other bands. And then you stack on top of the top of it the fact that Chris has such a unique voice uh, and distinct voice. I don't know, it gives Motionless and White such character, which I I just like that about them. I feel like there are so many metalcore bands, there's so many bands in general that are, you know, very cookie cutter and not in a negative way. I just think they're almost indistinguishable from one another. And that's, again, I don't make a claim as to it, whether that being a good or bad thing, but being indistinguishable, it doesn't help one's brand. And that's why I like Motionless and White is because they have this very amorphous but I easily identified uh, identity so I think they did a really great job here in sign of life love the song I'm gonna be listening to it again I love the last chorus the hit on the end and I like that they're adding all these digital elements these rap techniques uh, you know anything and everything I think they just do a lot and they do a lot of it well so I hope you enjoyed the reaction take care everyone enjoy the rest of your day peace <laughs>